Journal Record Managing Editor Adam Brooks joins us for a look at stories making news in business this week. Adam, an Oklahoma lawmaker claims a Supreme Court decision could void hundreds of tax sales across the state. What's the story? The court ruled that McIntosh County hadn't done enough to inform a landowner with delinquent taxes that they were going to sell his property. Even though they'd sent letters, he wasn't there anymore. Uh, there's a fear that even though most counties think they have pretty good rules in place, this could lead to more problems of landowners who, who lost their property coming back and trying to claim it. So a state representative wants to have an interim study to look at the rules and make sure everything is clear. Anheuser-Busch has withdrawn its membership from the beer distributors of Oklahoma. What's behind that move? You might remember that this legislative session, Senate, Senator Stephanie Bice proposed some rules that would allow liquor stores to sell cold, full-strength beer. Uh, that led to a, a lot of, well, then what can grocery stores do, what can convenience stores do, and the split is basically over how to handle those changes, which could involve constitutional changes. Uh, to be honest, the split is a little bit acrimonious, but they're definitely done with each other. There's been some controversy over a plan to add treated wastewater to Lake Thunderbird. That's right. Uh, the head of the conservancy district that runs the lake wants to put treated wastewater in there, and this is a long-term move to make sure there's enough water for Norman, Dell City, and Midwest City. But Dell City and Midwest City aren't really happy with the plan. They're worried about chemicals, especially pharmaceuticals, getting into the water. On Thursday night, the board did approve on a 5-2 vote a second phase of a study to see if they can clean water enough to make it safe. An Oklahoma wind turbine manufacturer has a new foreign market. Right, it's Berge Wind Power out of Norman, and they just got approval to install two 10 kilowatt uh, wind turbines in Japan, and those are now online. They think it's a really big market because Japan gives double the subsidies for wind that it does for solar, and Berge thinks they can sell 200 units in the next year and 500 units in the two years after that. Adam, there's some big news for fans of the rock group KISS. Tell right. us about it. Two of the founders of KISS, uh, they created a restaurant called Rock and Brew, and we're about to get our first franchise here in Oklahoma. It's going to be up on Memorial Road in the building that used to be Dan O'Brien's public house. Uh, they're going to do a million dollar renovation. They expect to be open in November. We've heard the food's good. Uh, Gene Simmons told our reporter Molly Fleming uh, how good he thinks one of the desserts is, and we can't really repeat that description on air. All right, thanks for that. What are you working on for next week? On Monday, we're going to take a look at crude oil exports. Right now, they're basically banned. There are a lot of people who think it'd be good for the economy and good for oil companies if we could do exports. Um, so we're going to look at the pros and cons of that. Adam Brooks, Managing Editor of the Journal Record. Thank you. Thank you.